Jack Ronald was a meme. I want everybody to be aware that we take winning seriously. This is the juggernaut, a juggernaut. We've got the best teams in the world and complexity. A pure Cinderella story. What would you say to those who doubted you? Yeah, the juggernaut tweet probably could have been better timed. You know, the tweet definitely caused uh, a bit of buzz. Hopefully it added more to our Counter-Strike community than it than it detracted. This is uh, the juggernaut. Juggernaut. The juggernaut. <laughs> yeah, the juggernaut. <laughs> Let, let's hope so. We put in a ton of work um, identifying potential lineups. You know, I talked to a lot of people. I was trying to uh, buy old Zaiwu over here, but Nick wouldn't name me a price. And some of the conversations I was having were just not getting to where I needed them to be quickly enough. So I said, the hell with this. I drove home from the office and threw some things in a suitcase and went to the airport. I flew to Copenhagen and met with um, Blame F. And it, sometimes you'd have to do that. Being an esports team owner, I think some fans just think you sit behind a big desk all day and, and it's all glamor, but Counter-Strike is very important to me. Counter-Strike is very important to complexity. So when it was on the ropes, I, I hopped on a plane and, and went over. And we're happy with the team we've got. We've got a young team. Um, I think it's got a ton of skill. Um, they're working really hard right now. Uh, we're going to be patient because even the great teams, the Astralis of the world and the Vitalities and some of these teams takes time. It takes, you know, losing sometimes and overcoming adversity and, and surviving long enough to really get that team chemistry to be successful. But I'm hoping by the summer we're going to have a really, really competitive roster and I know the guys are working hard. I think it's hard to set expectations for us right now because we don't really know where we're at. We would definitely like to become one of the T1 contenders, but it will obviously take some time, maybe even more time than we actually thought. Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Back Welcome again. to the second week of the Blast premiere. This one is going to be the group of death. We've got Astralis, Navi, Vitality, and Complexity finally there at the end. You might forget about them. Don't forget about them. They're going to have to work hard for a win, but it's going to be fun to see if they can pull it off. Going to be a bit of a, a tough time for Complexity. <laughs> they <They're, they're> just <laughs> got to show us something, chat. So it's going to be tough for them, um, especially when you have Astralis, who had the third best player in the world, Navi, who have the second best player in the world, <laughs> and uh, Vitality, who have the best player in the world. What do you make of it, Duncan? I have no expectations for complexity at all. Like right now, they're only fulfilling the not part of Juggernaut. There's nothing going on there. Like yeah. I don't mind the pickups and the, the particular players, mm -hmm. but I don't feel as though this is the final roster. I'm kind of writing them off in this group. You know, in this world, people are always going to doubt you. And if you listen to the doubters, if you buy into the doubt, then you're going to get off course. You're going to get off track. If, if you've doubted us, you probably have good reason. We've had a rough few years, but if you doubt us moving into the future, I think what we're doing is something special. You can doubt us if you want to doubt us, but don't put your money on it. We have the best Counter-Strike teams competing here in the world. And I'm Sam Layer, your host. Yeah, I, was just, I just wanted to be accurate. So you said we've got the best teams in the world and complexity. This is the best team in the world going up against a team who, you know, hasn't even been able to qualify for the major yet. And Oboe in a one versus two, that's almost unwinnable. He's going to stand up for a kill. Oh, oh my God, he turns around for it. An unbelievable round, a quad kill. He's got another one. Oh, that's two in a row, Poison. Sid stays alive. Oh, the flick comes in and Poison will take him down. Oh my God, I can't believe it. 16 and 12. I've seen every big CS goal match ever. I can tell you that would already be like a top five upset of all time. Who's ready for Vitality versus Complexity? I introduce you to North America's newest yeah! juggernaut. Complexity have one last beast to challenge. They wanted to build juggernaut, but we yeah. want to destroy the juggernaut. Of course. Ah! And the Navi storm has come and conquered today. Jagger now was a meme, now it's not a meme, now it's the future, you know. There you have him, complexity, end of the run versus Navi, but still nothing to be ashamed of. Two huge wins this weekend here at Blast Premier. Yeah, it all ended up in a pretty nice storyline, right? Having complexity come through in this fashion, upsetting teams like Astralis, upsetting Vitality. It's an exciting, you know, couple of days that we've had here, and it doesn't feel like we've had any losers other than maybe Astralis. There's something special, and uh, I encourage 
you know, the Counter-Strike diehards on, on Reddit and HLTV that, that are cynical at times to just um, come on this journey with us and believe for a minute, you know, that special things are possible. We're gonna screw up, we're, we're gonna lose games we shouldn't, but I promise you one thing, we're gonna be a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Mm. Everyone back home in the Complexity headquarters, you know, they, they had, on our Instagram yesterday, they had this video of everyone exploding in the player lounge when we won. And I saw it this morning, it brought tears to my eyes because everybody in our organization is so passionate about what we do. Mm -hmm. And we work so hard. This was a special, special week for us. Rush, well, they're kind of trapped in Europe at the moment if they want to stay competing. So they may as well just put everything they have into Counter-Strike. Just grinning watching Jason Lake's reaction because you gotta know, like, you gotta wonder how that guy's feeling. He's watched his team, who nobody has any faith in, take down Astralis and now just humiliate Na'Vi. It keeps coming back to bite us. We keep predicting against complexity and they just keep taking us all by surprise. The guy's on to something. He's cooking with gas with this roster. This is a team now that can really do some damage. This is the juggernaut, isn't it? You know, heading into the finals, uh, a lot of people did doubt us. Uh, you know, I think it's logical to doubt us, right? You need to earn respect. You need to go out there and uh, and do damage before people are going to look at you as, as a juggernaut or anything else. It is time for our grand final between complexity and vitality. Absolutely brilliant. What an incredible defense. One versus two. He knows there's someone in the corner. He's going to win that fight and shocks up on the high ground. Boys, it comes in yet again, time after time. Yes! Yes! What a wild ride it has been for Complexity to get to this point from such massive underdogs in January in London all the way to this point. And you can see what it means. All this hard work, boot camping, staying in Europe for months on end, it all pays off. You know, esports as in life is a series of ups and downs. You never want to get too high when you're up and too low when you're down. But when you've been down for a while, man, yeah, where's it's down hard here? to yeah. get up right. and, and you got to fight and you got to claw and you gotta cry and you gotta battle and that's what the people in my company do that's what complexity is about if you doubt team complexity then it's because you have something you have a problem with us as a player so as a team because if you doubt us and now you've seen we can do everything we can win the best tournaments we are a team we are not for fun we're not here to make jokes we're actually here to fucking win we're complexity i hope everyone's ready for 2020 <laughs> <laughs>